not bent in between. All right, here we go. Ready? And stop. One. Right now you're in a good shape. Your foot's turned out, your hips under your body, you're standing up. Right? Okay, go. Two. That's the next beat. Then you hold it. Three, four, five, six. Four, stretch it. Three, four, five, six. All right, good. Try that again. So we're going to do the way we have it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <coughs> five, six, seven, eight. Okay. First, let's try to stretch the other. Okay, forward right. Remember, it's swivel the supporting foot. As you position this one across, turn your hip to the right. Turn your shoulders to the front. Right? Okay. And relax. Now, this is a, a position that's always the same. If you, if you step back, some people call it a, a Spanish line. Some, if you step forward, some people call it a press line. You're pressing into it. The arms can do anything. They can be, let's just try this. Let's just go into our press. Let's put our arms straight in front. Okay, let's put them left. Let's put them both up. Let's curve them. Right? Doesn't matter. One up, one down. Both forward to your partner. Both back. See what I mean? This is the whole position of the body where the arms do it something to make the distance. It's not a different step, it's just where you position the arms. Okay, forward right and press. Do whatever you want with your arms. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But let's hit it quick. Make that swivel quick. Don't go one, two. One, swivel two. Ready? And one, two, three, stop four. Okay, now step on five. And five, six, seven, eight. Not bad, let's try that again. So the quicker you get there, the longer you can hold it, right? Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Alright, now let's just think of this. If you hit it on two, you have three, four. What should this go on the five? The rest? Or lower the heel, I would say the best thing to do is just drop the heel. Because you're always in the case, particularly of the man, three wide split. Let's just think of that. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did you feel you got there? We're able to do everything? Why? Because it was slow. But how, how many press sides of Pops Dobe last four weeks? <laughs> um, the and so if you think you have the time to do all that, make sure everything's right. No, so you've got to be able to do it quick and make sure it's right. All right, so one more time. Let's just do something with the arms. The base routine will look better, all right? Let's go. Uh, let's put one, two, and put both arms right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right? It doesn't matter what you do, but this is the uniform. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. All right. Maybe those shoulders to the front. Now with the other one, a quick one, right? Okay, ready? And one, two. Let's take them opposite again. And this time, three, just opposite four, like that. And then five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that can be on the toes or heels down. It doesn't matter. If you need to do flat footed, now do it that way because then you can think of the rest of the body. One little right, we're going to make all the difference right now. Okay, ready? Forward, switch across. Arms this way, right? Turn the shoulders to the front and press them down. This part up to the ceiling. And step swivel, stop. All right, let's just talk about this one second. Let's face our feet that way. All right? Now, just think of hips under the body. Right? Now, let's just turn to face here. Now, the more we take our hips diagonally rightwards, in other words, under and right at the same time, and turn our shoulders to the front, the more we're going to get, again, that curve there. And if you go up on the toe, what happens? It increases the shape. That's why a lot of times the possibility is some of the lines are that way. So we're here, it's right, it's turning, it's turning, it's turning.
turning up if you want. Keep going. That's right. Okay, now watch this. What's wrong with this? Yeah, my shoulders are up. So it's not going to help to turn toward the body. That's got to be down. One, one time. Ready? Turn. Hips right. Shoulders left. Hips right. Shoulders left. Down. Down. Keep stretching it. Keep stretching it. All neck now. Put those shoulders at it. Okay, good. All right, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Arms down, track the body. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's do that. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. Both press sides are good. Up. Uh, straighten the back leg and stop. Okay, that was pretty good. Let's do a full flow. Have you ever watched a film of your muscle building? Those of you that compete? Yeah. Have you ever looked at it in slow motion or watched the Spanish line, the press line, the position, and analyzed what's wrong with it? I've done that before and I've seen, I can't believe my knee was bent. I can't believe my knee was bent. As hard as I was trying to break my knee and it looked like this, and you just hate yourself, so you go back and practice and do it again, and the next one's better. But you know what? Two, two shows of demonstration down the line, you can be right back bend again. Something you always have to think about. That's the whole purpose behind the basic routine. If you think about it during the basic routine, when it comes to your to your uh, routine, conscious routine, then it's there. Okay, here we go. Ready? Slow it. And one, two, three, four. I'm up. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, stop eight. Good. Okay, what's next? Just 
think of a heely when you step forward, like a tango type position. All right, let's just do it one more time. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five. Good. Okay, what's next? <laughs> Because the reason I say to do with the part is because doing it by yourself lets you analyze what's happening with your own body. But doing it with your partner, you have a bracing through your dance position that allows you to do something better. So let's just try it with the partner. Okay, now let's take a hole, right? And think of a huge circle. One side is higher than the other. A huge circle. So this arm will be curved, this arm will be curved, and it'll be open to the front. All right, now let's take our four and water, eight and one, and eight and stop. Okay, let's go back to that again. Start with the feet together. Ready, and stop, stop. Okay, now let's go back and let's think of two things. One for the man, one for the girl. Girl, think of transferring your weight onto the foot over the step. In other words, not all at once. And so step, cross, take the weight, finish it. Like stretch it out. It's like a taping movement. It's not going to be dot, dot, all the way. That, that's the breathing part of it. All right, ready? So it's going to be four and one and. Okay, finish. And. Four and one and. All right, that's better. That allows the man to finish it, finish the movement one more time. Ready, and, four, and, one, and. All right, now, look to the front. Did you do it again, sorry. Did you do it again. And then look that way on one. Okay, that's when the man should finish the positioning of his foot, which turns you. All right, so four, and, one, this way. The front, girl, straight away. Ready, and, four, look, one. That's right, now carry your hips up. Lift your hips up, girl. Shoulders to me. Right, be able to lift your left foot off the floor. That's right. Okay, good. Now let's talk about that just one second. Okay, man, close your feet. Side. Close with the weight primarily on the balls of the feet. Okay, now let's just think of our possible stance here. All right, take your feet, both points in the same direction, pretty much that way. All right, for now, diagonally that way. Okay, now. If we were closed, we'd be, and we took our position, it'd be like this, wouldn't it? Going back to the beginning. Right? Like so. Okay, now, let's just position that foot there and try to do the same thing. Now, remember what happened when our feet were together and we went up on the toes? It increased the shape. So push your left heel up. Right. Take your hip further forward and under, and you have more of a shape. So just think of pressure on the ball of that foot. Just try that again. First you're together, your turn, and you step, and you're there. Now push your heel up. You feel what it does to you? It lifts right up that way. Okay, so when we take the step, I like the men to think of on that last step is going four and one. So ball of the foot, hip under. This is okay too. You see what it did? It dropped me down a little bit, pulled me away from her, and that does that. Okay. Ready? And four and stop. Pressure, hip forward, oval shape there, or circle. That's better. All right, good. Now let's talk about the man's next movement. All right, pressure on that foot. Transfer back to the right. Now, the transfer means more shape, because the closer your feet together, the more you can do it, right? So you're there. Now, more. Left shoulder back, left shoulder back, step forward left. Right, Give your shoulders to the girl now. Now you're shante, diagonal to the speaker. Four, top end. Now position your right foot, toe, the toe. Right, 
take your weight to your left foot. Now pull your right shoulder back as you step forward, line of down. Stop. Again, you see that possibility. The shape never alters. Always dip one direction, shoulders the other. Chasse. Four and stop. Now transfer away to your right as you increase the shape. Increase it. Forward left. Stop. So you're like that now. Chasse. Change it to the right. That's it. So I'd like to feel as if you get not only step and hold it there, walk, walk, right? But you have step and there, increase it to there. Step and there, increase it to there. Step and there, increase it to there. So at one point, we're coming around each other. We're right there, right? Now, she takes her foot forward as I that more. Then she drops. We're ready to go again. Four and one. So ball of the foot, hip under. This is okay too. But you see what it did? It dropped me down a little bit. Pulled me away from her. And that does that. Okay. Ready? And four and stop. Pressure, hip forward, oval shape there, a circle. That's better. All right, good. Now let's talk about the man's next movement. All right, pressure on that foot. Transfer back to the right. Now, the transfer means more shape, because the closer your feet together, the more you can do it, right? So you're there. Now, more. Left shoulder back, left shoulder back, step forward left. Right, so your shoulders to the girl now. Now you're shopping. Now add it on this speaker. Four, stop, and. Now position your right foot. Toe. The toe. Right. Take your weight to your left foot. Now pull your right shoulder back as you step forward, line down. Stop. Again, you see that possibility. The shape never alters. Always dip one direction, shoulders the other. Chasse. Four, and stop. Now transfer away to your right as you increase the shape. Increase it. Forward left. Stop. So you're like that now. Stop it. Change it to the right. That's it. Okay, good. So I'd like to feel as if you get not only step and hold it there, walk, walk, right? But you have step and there and there. Step and there, increase it to there. Step and there, increase it to there. So at one point, we're coming around each other. We're right there, right? Now, she takes her foot forward as I do that more. Then she drops. We're ready to go again. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Step and shape, increase it. Switch. And. Step and shape, increase it, switch. Step and shape, increase it, switch. Step and shape, increase it, stop. All right, let's try that again. Four and stop. And pressurize that left foot. Get 
Men, transfer weight to your right foot as she takes one step forward. Stop. Keep pulling your left side back. You're actually leading her as a case to do that. All right, step forward, stop. Now switch her, stop. And that's when you change. Okay, shot face. Four and stop. Girls, I've already finished your movement. Now men, hips forward, right shoulder back, go. Increasing the shape and step forward and switch. All right, good. You're gonna have to kind of synchronize that switching action because the man's supposed to initiate it. Really. If you're here like this, and you've done four and one, two, he's supposed to lead it by the change of his shape there, by the dropping of one side or the other. Okay, but he might be doing it too early. He might be doing it too late. It's up to you to decide. Ready? And four and one. Thank <laughs> you. 
this, but stepping forward and stretching. Your top is going back, but she's ready to go duck on that forward foot. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. And two, three, four. Ready to go. Okay. Okay, girls, you're here. Well, let's do the man's parts first. Tuck the foot behind. Man.
also gives you more shape because anytime you rise, it pushes you to the corner. And it gives you taller than the girl. It's your chance to really get way up there, above. Okay, so forward direct. Forward right, and you swivel to come up. Forward right, swivel to come up. Up. Down. Yeah. 